Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I want to talk about a project I've been developing. The Fully Autonomous Wind Dial, or FOD. I don't know, it might have a different name later. What is FOD? It's a device that automatically turns the wind dial on a rifle scope to give the shooter a perfect wind correction. It pulls telemetry data from several long-range wind meters downrange, funnels that raw info into a microcontroller, passes it through a ballistic solver, and sends a signal to FOD, which physically rotates the dial to the correct position. It will change the dial every one to three seconds as new wind data is brought in. When people start out with electronics, they usually start by building smart home devices. I built an automatic scope dial with commitment issues. Now, before you fire up the comment section, I'm aware that, yes, this isn't exactly a practical device. You're not going to see this in a hunting blind, and you're not going to see this strapped onto a competition rifle. That isn't what FOD is for. FOD is designed to test the accuracy of the Coriolis wind meter system I've been developing. Its other smaller application is to push rimfire and centerfire 22 cartridges to absurd distances reliably. And like anything else, you don't have to have an important reason to build it. You can just build something cool just because you want to. Now, FOD is far from finished, but let's break down what I've built so far. The mounting bracket is 3D printed from PLA and fits snugly onto an Arcan Optics LH4 6-24. For movement, I'm using a stepper motor paired with a 5-1 to gearbox for extra torque. That motor is driven by a DRV8825 driver, and the whole system runs on an RC car battery. The brain of the test rig is an Arduino running some simple code that I wrote. It's not flashy, but it gets the job done. The movement is repeatable and precise, which is all I need for early testing. Most of the hardware is done. The main thing left is developing a microcontroller interface that connects the Coriolis base station, which holds all of our wind data, to the scope mounted motor via Bluetooth. What I'd love to build next is a software interface that shows the wind readings from each meter in real time. As a default, all of the wind meter will be compiled and averaged across the units. An important feature will also be influence weighting. For example, meters located near the bullet's max ordinance might get a speed multiplier of 1.1 or 1.2 to account for faster winds higher off the ground. While meters in valleys may receive a lower multiplier like 0.8 or 0.9 because they wouldn't perfectly reflect the wind that the bullet is receiving. This system also opens up the door to some interesting tests. Do we get better results placing the meters directly in line with the target? Or is it better to lead the wind? Should we stagger them based on proximity to the target? Would raising them on long poles improve the readings over fence posts and tripods? My ultimate goal is to create an autonomous wind dialing system so accurate that it keeps me on target at a thousand yards through every single wind condition. And as our wind data gets more refined, then our target size can shrink. Rimfire cartridges will get a huge boost in capability using this wind dial. We may even be able to get high performance 22 centerfire cartridges consistent one mile hits. So will it happen? Maybe. But just imagine if it did. FOD isn't just a device, it's a challenge to what we think is possible. Zooming out, I'm building technology that turns uncertainty into certainty for long range precision shooters. And I'm making all of it open source. That means all of it. Parts list, firmware, diagrams will be published so anyone with basic computer and soldering skills can build this themselves. I'll be leaving a link to my GitHub account in the description. I'll be posting all of my code, wiring diagrams, and STL files there for free. I still plan to sell pre-built units on a website for folks who prefer plug and play, but the DIY path will always be an option. 
Now, here's where I ask for your help. If you have experience in electrical engineering, software or firmware development, PCB design, or 3D modeling, I could really use your help in pushing this project forward. Collaboration is how this tech grows. If you don't have any of that prior experience, but you'd still like to help, you can also donate via YouTube. Every dollar in ad revenue and donations will go directly into hardware and hiring freelancers to push this project forward. If you'd like to support this endeavor, thank you. And if not, that's okay too. I'll still be releasing nearly everything as open source. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Long range lab where the echoes sing. Precision's pulse in the rifles ring. A world where science sharpens the steel. Technology's hand makes the frontier real.